This is the Microsoft Lumia 950 XL, which is the uh, 950 with a slightly bigger screen. It's a 5.7 inch screen. Uh, it's a really high spec phone um, with a great Quad HD display, 20 megapixel camera. What I'm going to show you now is just logging in using my face so it looks in my eyes and does an iris recognition. So I switch the phone on, I then have a look at it and I'm in. Um, now if I go to the start screen, if you're using Windows 10 today, it'll look very familiar to you. It's very similar to the Windows 10 start screen on the, on the desktop. And one example of it look, being very similar and familiar to you if you're using Windows 10 is the settings. So I'm going to choose settings from here. And if you're using Windows 10, and I'll bring it up on this device over here, uh, which is a Surface Pro 4. If I choose settings, you'll see uh, the icons and the categories are very much the same. So you're going to, if you're used to Windows 10 on your desktop, you're going to find it very easy to find things on your phone as well. And that translates through to apps. So I'm looking at a um, mail app on my Surface Pro 4. If I look on the mail app on my phone, uh, while it looks slightly different, it's because the phone screen is long and thin, whereas the Surface screen is sort of wide. If I resize the Surface screen, uh, or the mail app to sort of fit the same size as the phone, you can see it looks virtually exactly the same. And the reason it looks the same is because it is the same. It is the same app, not just a similar app, it's the same code running on Windows 10 on my desktop and running on Windows 10 on my phone. And that's really important because if I plug this phone into a big screen, as we'll see, you'll then get the full uh, app running in the same way as it does on the Windows 10 desktop. So should we plug it into the big screen? So I'm going to use the display dock here, which is a little box that you can get for it, which allows you to plug USB devices in, HDMI out, uh, and uh, uses a USB-C to connect to the phone. The one is the USB-C is you can reverse the angle, you don't have to have it the right way around, it goes in both ways around, uh, charges the phone really quickly, you get 50% charge in just half an hour. Uh, and you get uh, much faster data transfer rates. Now when you plug that in and look at it on the screen, I can now attach a uh, mouse and a keyboard to it. Uh, and I can start to control it kind of the same way as I would a normal PC. Let's open that mail app again. Uh, now, because it's got a big screen, it runs um, full screen, exactly as you'd expect it to, and works exactly the same way. And in fact, if you can see it running on the Surface Pro 4 here, how similar it looks. Now, the big screen's running off the phone, and this is running on the Surface Pro 4. It is the same app. It works in exactly the same way. I could create a new mail. I could use the keyboard to type in. I can select text, right-click with the mouse, copy, uh, I can use Control V or Control C to uh, co Control C to copy, Control V to paste. I can use all my keyboard shortcuts that I usually use, except I'm now using a phone. Um, if I, for example, run a, a browser window on here, I could select text off the browser. Notice it's running in full screen; it looks exactly the same as the browser does on your desktop. I can copy that into my mail app and paste it. Uh, and I can use the task switcher as well down here to see which apps I've got running and move between them exactly the same way as you do on your Windows 10 desktop. I even have a notification center at the right hand side here that I can bring up to show the no notifications on my uh, phone. So in short, if you're used to using Windows 10 on your desktop, you're going to find these phones very familiar and really easy to use because not only do they look similar and work in a similar way, a lot of the time they're using exactly the same apps as well. So you've got used to one app on your Windows 10 desktop, you'll have the same app running in the same way on your phone. Uh, could you mention the processor, camera? Uh, yes. Uh, now. Uh, so the um, the processor on this one, which is the 950XL, is the Snapdragon 810. Uh, it's got eight cores. Uh, the slightly smaller phone, which is the 950, which is a, a 5.2 inch screen, has a Snapdragon 808 that has six cores. They are very powerful processors. They're the latest generation of the Snapdragon processor, um, which allows you to do this kind of continuum feature where I'm at this stage looking at the mail app on the big screen and I can still use my phone and run other apps in it um, while I'm using that mail app. I could make calls as well from my phone while I'm using um, the, the big screen or watching a film or doing a spreadsheet. 
Um, so they're very powerful processes that allow me to um, use both the phone and the big screen at the same time. Um, in terms of resolution, it's a, it's a quad HD uh, screen, so very high res, very high dots per inch. And the camera on the back is a 20 megapixel camera. Um, it's got triple LED flash, so you can just about see the different colors of the flash here as well, um, which is great for low light conditions. When you take a picture with it, you get a very natural looking uh, picture with the flash. It's not all washed out, um, much reduced red eye. Uh, and the optical image stabilization is now fifth generation, so we've continually built on the success we had with earlier Lumia phones, um, and these are really the most advanced cameras we've ever released in a phone. So you get some great pictures, and video, by the way, records at 4K with these. So very high-end uh, phones in their own right, but also extremely useful if you're used to Windows 10 on your desktop because of how familiar it is.